Hello students, today's topic is International HRM Training and Development. So in this video, we are going to see uh, various types of training given to your expatriates. In the previous videos, we have seen what is International HRM, International Recruitment and Selection. Then we have seen what is expatriation, what is repatriation. And in this video, we are going to have training development at international level. So first thing, introduction, meaning of international HRM. So as we have seen, process of procuring, allocating and effectively utilizing HR in multinational corporation. Okay, that means practices of managing people at international scale. Whatever your HR functions are there, recruitment, selection, training, development, procuring, allocating, etc. are practiced on international level. Okay, that is called international HRM. Now, what is a domestic HRM versus international HRM? What is the difference between them? So, international HRM has more functions like international taxation, pre-departure training, administration services to expatriate then you have to follow the host government uh, you know relationship there is more involvement in employees personal lives then uh, uh, you know uh, in the international hrm it has more external influences extra salary you have to give to the expatriates uh, different approach is there in the international uh, hrm so who is uh, expatriate here? Expatriation means a person who is appointed, who is work in abroad, who is sent from parent country to the host country or a person who is working in the foreign countries that is called expatriate. Okay. So when a person is sending from parent country to the host country, or from host country to the parent country he is called expatriate and he needs some training okay before sending a person to that uh, to that global operation assignments you should give some training so what type of trainings are there given to the expat we will see so first is technical training okay when uh, when there are some assignments at you know international level or you have the global operations so it needs training and technical training means you know what type of technical skills are required in that mnc or what type of new technology is there in the mnc so that technical skill training is given to that expatriate so that he will work effectively in that host country okay then functional training functional training means uh, what type of functional areas are there in that mnc means uh, for example in uh, uh, hrm production marketing finance and any other functional areas are there in the mncs that type of training is given that is called functional training then strategic management skill training okay so what type of innovative strategies are to be used that means it should be recent and competitive so recent competitive skills are also required what are the customers expectations what are the competitor moves so as per that you have to give the strategic management skill training then cross-cultural training so cross-cultural training means in every mnc you know they have uh, employees from various types of countries okay uh, some is from parent country some is for from host country some is from any other third country national so everyone has that uh, different types of culture language laws etc and you know the expat should be given that cross-cultural training okay if you don't give that cross-cultural training then it is very difficult to adjust them in that 
MNC. So expatriate may leave the job. Okay. So to adopt that culture, to adjust with that cultural environment, it is very, uh, you know, uh, essential to give the cross-cultural training. Then language training. Okay. When you go to any other foreign company, you should know that language. Expatriates should know, should talk that language in that country. Pre-departure training. Pre-departure training means before going to the, uh, before going to that country, you need some training. That means cultural briefing. What type of tradition is there? What are their customs? What are their beliefs? What are their living conditions? What are their styles of clothing? Okay, these type of briefing, cultural briefing is introduced to that expatriate. Then assignment briefing. Assignment briefing means uh, what assignment is given to him? What is the length of the assignments? What are the vacations? What is the compensation package? Tax implications? or repatriation policies etc is come under assignment briefing shipping requirement shipping requirement uh, shipping uh, related with you know what type of packing you have to do uh, how the shipping is going to be then this type of training is given in the shipping requirement then last is post departure training post departure training means when expatriates uh, you know reach at that MNC in the foreign country then uh, uh, he get that hands-on training or on the job training if there are some specific issues uh, regarding culture then uh, they give that idea in advance uh, so that uh, he will you know create his mindset to adopt that also, uh, he has given uh, training regarding uh, his job, his position, his career track, etc. is explained to him uh, so that he will not feel isolated and, uh, you know, uh, he should feel like home, he should feel like home country. Uh, so, it is very necessary to give that post-departure post training and uh, so that home office uh, employees, he can uh, you know touch with them so this type of training is given to the expatriate so thank you so much this is very easy and simple uh, topic we have seen here training and development at international level and uh, if you have any doubts you can ask me you can comment me if you need any notes okay thank you so much